So when I first found out that I was pregnant, this was actually the first item that I bought a few weeks later. I think I'd seen on Instagram this company called The Nest Planner, which I've gone back on there now and I can't seem to find them. I think the woman who was running The Nest Planner might have stopped her business or gone into something else. So this was bought from her website and this was, I think, £40. And it came with some clear plastic compartments that you can put different items in so it wasn't just the bag that I bought it also came with a changing mat as well and lots of like plastic items that I'll show you in a minute so this is the bag it's quite big it's a black like, nylon fabric bag and it has let's just get it closer a front zip here Ooh, I just open it some stuff in there for easy to grab items and we've got a compartment in here at the front as well you've also got your wipes holder so you can just grab them here if you need them you also keep wipes inside the bag as well because there's a separate like changing bag that you can take out and then on this side is a drinks holder so I keep the, I use the old fashioned method when we go out, it's a flask with boiled water in and then there's another flask inside that has got cold boiled water in um, and then we just sort of like make up the measurements when we're using the powder when we go out. So yeah it's quite a big bag on the back because obviously it's a backpack, I've got quite big straps here. That's quite comfortable to wear. Also got your straps for yeah, your pram, so you can wrap it over your pram handles, um, which we haven't actually done yet as when we bought our pram, they didn't really recommend that we hang really heavy bags off it because it will like break the frame. And then obviously if your pram breaks, it's not in warranty no more because they can tell that you've, you've hanged your bag on it and you're obviously not meant to. So we just keep this underneath the pram. So yeah, it's quite a big bag. So yeah, it's from the Nest Planner and it was £40. Um, I'm not sure if it's still available, but I'll have a look. If so, I'll link it down below. And any items that I talk about in here, I'll just pop in the description box. With any links. Um, but yeah, so I went black, so also my partner can wear it as well. If he needs to wear it on his back. I didn't want to get like a, you know, a floral one or like a Disney one. I don't think he'd want to wear that, but he's happy to carry this on his back when he needs to, with all her stuff in. So let me just uh, open it and show you what's inside. I've just emptied out the front compartment. As you can see, there is a little mesh compartment in the front of that as well. So it's quite big. Uh, so in here I just carry extra bibs and a muslin. Just so when I'm in the back of the car, I can quickly just grab the bib or muslin if she needs it. Um, but you can fit, fit more in here, you can fit like a little blanket in here, more muslins if you need them or some more bibs. Uh, but I just keep them in here because they're easy to grab in the car when she needs, needs them. So in the next compartment at the top here, which is quite shallow, it's not all the way down, it just stops about here. Uh, so I keep a carrier bag in there, some face masks, two hand gels and a hand cream. Uh, it's basically for me, so I can quickly grab my face mask if I need it if I'm going into a shop. Spare handbag, hand gel which you always need, and also hand cream. So this is more more for me than for the baby. And that's that compartment. So this is everything that was in actually inside the bag. Uh, so as you can see, I've got my makeup bag here with all my like hairbrush makeup in. They don't fit in my handbag. Changing bag here. So if I'm out and I just need to go and change her. I don't take the whole changing bag with me. I just take this with me. It's got the nappies in, nappy bags, wipes, cream. So it's like a little handle. I can just take that with me, it's quite handy. Obviously the most important thing is snacks for the adults. Always carry snacks in the, hand, in, in the changing bag. You never know when you're on a long car journey or when you're hungry or if you're really busy sort of like holding her all the time or trying to get her to sleep and you need a snack. Always got mini cheddars and a, a Tesco Dreamy Caramel Bar. Also got a, let's have a look, just a 
white blanket that we keep in the bag just in case you ever need a blanket. Then we obviously have the flask, which is the cold water flask, cold down water. A bottle if she needs a, a feed, a little container for her formula to go in. So we just measure out the scoops into this and just try and remember what we actually put in here when we go out. Which is normally about five or six ounces that we put in here. Then we have a changing mat, so if we're at anyone's house or if I'm out in public, I just use that and just wipe it down after. It's quite thin, so yeah, I can take the bag with me and the changing mat. I then have these clear plastic compartments, which are quite handy. These actually came with the changing bag. So in here I've got probably, I think, two baby grows, two vests, some more bibs, as she's teething at the moment, so she can get through a lot of bibs, you know, easily 20 bibs per day. Then we've got the snacks, and then we've got another clear compartment. This has got cow poing, some teething granules, a syringe, and then these are bags that you put in the microwave to sterilise anything. Uh, what I haven't actually included in here, which must be down the stairs, is I have like a, a clear container and her dummies go in there. And then you can put the container in the microwave and sterilise the dummies. Um, so yes, yeah, so normally in this bag she'll have at least two dummies in there for her, just in case. Uh, and then also with the actual bag, came these are plastic bags. Uh, so also, yeah, I can put dummies in here, teething rings in here. Um, probably not dirty clothes or anything. Oh, that's another thing. I also have, well, normally in the front bag, I'll have a, a sandwich bag, one of those big sandwich bags. So if she does have an accident or if she's sick a lot, you know, or anything else, I can just put the dirty clothes or bibs in that sandwich bag and tie it up so it's not actually touching the rest of her clothes. Um, but yeah, so I don't know where that sandwich bag is, so I have to put some more in here and put some dummies in here as well. So yeah, I'll probably use these uh, when she's a bit older and she's got more sort of like toys and TV rings and stuff like that. Uh, so I think that's everything that's in that bag. Uh, and then obviously inside the bag, it is quite big in here. So we've got, when you open it here, we've got a zip here and this is where I keep all the snacks. At the back, at the back, you've then got these little bottle holders here, which I keep all the bottles in and the formula. Uh, yeah, so it's quite big, and it's very. Oh, I just found something else. Oh, an umbrella. Okay, yeah, we keep an umbrella in the bag. I forgot that was in there, just in case it starts raining when you're going for a walk or you're out. Uh, so that's just at the bottom of the bag. That's always handy. So we do have, in our car, we do have more supplies. Uh, so in the car we have a spare nappies, spare clothes, a blanket, we've got toys. So really you need quite a few setups, really. <laughs> you need things in your living room, uh, things upstairs ready for your baby, things in the car, things in the changing bag. So you are buying sort of multiple things, just so you're covered. So you're never stuck for a blanket if she's cold, or a new baby grow. You know, there's always a baby girl somewhere <laughs> within like, you know, a few meters, <laughs> just in case. So yeah, that is everything that is in my changing bag. Um, I'll try and have a look for this bag of mine because it's really nice. It's really big. It's good quality. Uh, I'm sure it's going to last us a few years. Um, but it's a shame if she doesn't stay in it anymore. Um, but if not, I'll find something that's quite similar to this sort of fabric. And also it's £40. It's not too expensive. The ones I was looking at before were like 16 80 I just thought they might not last that long anyway, especially as you're sort of, you throwing it in the car, under the pram all the time. And it does get a lot of wear out of it. Um, but yes, as you can see, this, this clear bag, this clear bag, and these, and the changing mat, all came with this bag as well. So that's quite handy to separate everything into compartments, so you can easily just grab one of the bags out. So yeah, that is... Um, a review of what's in my changing bag that I take out with me. Um, but yeah, please let me know below what changing bag you have. Because um, I'm sure one day, you know, three years time, I'll be looking for a new one. 
it would be good to see what China bags you have currently. Okay, thank you for watching.